Let's take a minute to hear a word from our sponsor for this week's Ag Report, Elite Tire. Elite Tire and Automotive. Ever have one of those days and just need a little hand? Well, with our remote services, we'll just hop right on it. Get you back on the road quick and easy. With automotive services to cover all your mechanical needs. Need that state inspection done? Well, we can do that too. So roll on in and see a friendly face. Give us a call and we can be right on the spot to assist you. So trust the friendly folks down at Elite Tire and Automotive, 972-775-1055. Now let's join our host, John Haldenine, in the studio with this week's Ag Report. Howdy folks, welcome to this week's Ag Report. So this week I'm going to, I'm going to, Give you a little bit of a timeline, I guess. Uh, there's going to be folks that are that are older than myself that uh, have seen more of this, but I want to kind of share with you a little bit about uh, the ASCS or the FSA. So ASCS is Agriculture Stabilization and Conservation Service. It's a mouthful. Um, they changed that. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, you know, time kind of, kind of has a way of slipping away. It might have been 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be somebody that'll give me an exact date, but they changed it to the FSA, which stands for Farm Service Agency. So that's kind of a, a little bit of an umbrella. <clears throat> Under that umbrella, you have the uh, natural resource side, and then you have the agriculture side of it. They're in the most cases here in Ellis County, they're in the, the same building, but you have your, your farm service side of it on one side and then your, your uh, uh, natural resources on the other. And you may think, well, you know, what, what, what is that really about or anything? Well, it's important to, uh, to producers. So let me kind of, kind of back up before I get too far ahead. So uh, when I started uh, farming, uh, the early 90s, uh, when I started having row crops and needing to uh, to go to the, at that time, ASCS office, uh, it was on top of the old Waxahachie Bank and Trust building in Waxahachie. It uh, was a very busy place. You got to remember, back in those days, there were more producers working less acres apiece, okay? So there were, there were more people. Uh, you were in and out of there, you know, uh, pretty busy. Uh, and, and what you, you may be wondering, well, what in the world do you do there? So, you know, that is where you, you uh, we call it certify, you report the acres that you plant, um, when you planted it, um, what part of the field that it's on. And, and so when I, you know, started, it wasn't GPS or anything like that. They had uh, big two by three uh, laminated maps. And these maps, you know, were probably taken, I think they did those pictures maybe every 10 years or something. So they were probably from the 80s and stuff. And you're looking at pictures, you know, from an aircraft. And then they piece all of these together. Uh, try not to overlap, but they piece them together in a grid. So you would go on to a map that was on the a road map that was on the, the counter and look on that grid. And it would be like F8. And so they would go back to the, the, the big wall, they had a big wall with all of these things in there. And they'd pull out like F8 and they might pull out F9 just to be for sure, because it could be on either one. And then so you had to look at that map and then try and figure out, OK, where's my field at uh, now? As you remember, we've had a couple of waves of development in here. You had the super collider come through and that changed a lot of things. Then you had a little bit of development, you know, through the 90s. And then there was a little bit in the early 2000s for it broke in 07 or 08. And, and then, of course, now. So it was really hard looking at those old aircraft pictures because, like I say, they could be five, six, ten years out of date. And so it was, you know, there might be a school sitting there that's not there, you know, uh, or wasn't there in the picture and you're trying to. So there was a lot of uh, pencil drawing on those maps trying to draw in 
maybe a new road that was built or a new building that was built or some houses that. So you really had to use your imagination to try and remember, you know, where it's at and what your field looks like. But that's how you, you certified things, you know, in those days. Uh, nowadays, it, it is fast forward and we have uh, satellite imagery, just like you look at Google Earth, uh, that, you know, pretty pretty consistently kind of gets updated. So it's a lot easier to kind of see uh, where it's at. That imagery now doesn't have pencil marks all over it, but they're able to go in there with colored digital lines and overlay our, our uh, surveys of our land on there. Then it overlays again the working part of the field. Because remember, uh, your survey, you know, maybe 100 acres, well, there may only be 80 acres of what they call crop land. That other 20 acres might be in a waterway or a creek or something like that. And so you've got all these different layers uh, kind of like when you're looking at a, a weather map and they're showing you the wind speed and the cloud cover and all that kind of stuff that you're kind of looking through. But the end result's the same. It's still to document where you planted, what you planted, the planting date, that kind of stuff. And so as time has has progressed, uh, you know, used to be, we, we kind of joke, uh, you get writer's cramp when you go in there to certify because you would have to sign every single uh, farm that you work, the different farm numbers in there. And usually there was a couple of places to sign for each one. And so you, you'd sit there and sign and flip, sign and flip and shake your hand, get the blood circulating again and sign and flip. And uh, But that, you know, it's kind of the way that it is. Uh, things have gotten a little more streamlined now. Uh, so then enter the pandemic, okay? Um, uh, a lot of changes now with digital or electronic signatures, uh, being able to email things back and forth, uh, being able to uh, share screens and stuff. So we're able to look at stuff and in real time, uh, the folks, the men and the women in the office can adjust things back and forth. Now, I know, you know, you may think, well, that's not that big of a deal. You know, we, we're doing that in my job or we're doing that in college or in school or whatever. Well, I know, but you also got to understand, um, I'm probably one of the, the younger ones in, in the ag industry. Okay? Um, and you've heard, you know, the saying, uh, teaching an old dog new tricks. Um, so I give a lot of kudos, a lot of credit uh, to the men and women there working in these offices because they have been patient and they have worked with us as producers that, you know, we don't scan things every day of our lives. We don't docu-sign things every day of our lives or attach images and, and different things like that. That's new technology um, that we, you know, have to develop. Um, a lot of producers, you know, the, they, they still have flip phones and that kind of stuff. They don't have smart devices to download uh, apps and different things. And so the, the folks have really um, helped teach the producers how to, to utilize those different things. Uh, they've been patient, you know, with them. Um, the producers have, have really uh, expanded, you know, their, their knowledge and pushed that envelope for themselves uh, with technology and maybe upgrading their phones to, to having some tablets and different things like that. Probably been a lot of grandkids that have uh, helped out, uh, grandpa or something like that, uh, get his paperwork finished. Um, you know, with uh, the different uh, protocols that are in place uh, from uh, the FSA is a, is a federal office, so they have to go under federal guidelines. There's different protocols there. And so we can't always just walk in there um, like we used to. We used to could just kind of walk in, belly up to the counter and, you know, say hello. And they, they'd uh, help us do whatever we need to do. So now we, we do things more online. Um, you may have, have seen uh, uh, at our local office, they've set up a desk on the outside, on the porch out there. And so they kind of have a little, a little drop box. And, and so they will we'll call them, tell them we're on our way. Um, they'll leave that paperwork maybe that they need us to still physically sign in that box. We'll go out to the little desk. We'll sign it, put it back in the box, give them a call and say, hey, uh, it's out there for you. And uh, so, you know, they're still um, figuring out ways to stay productive, 
to keep us in the fields working and to keep that that uh, that train of paperwork still a moving. So anyway, just thought I'd share with you, you know, a little of that that progression uh, over time of what that kind of looks like, and and uh, you know, give some give some thanks to those folks in those offices that you know they they get those guidelines and then they got to figure out how to make it work uh, in the real world, as we always say. Anyways, hope you all have enjoyed this uh, this kind of glimpse into the uh, Farm Service Agency a little bit. Uh, it's an important thing uh, for agriculture, uh, whether you're you know a, a row crop producer, a grass producer, cattle producer. Uh, it's very very uh, uh, very useful. Uh, if you have questions, you can always reach out to the uh, Waukesha Sun or reach out to the FSA office uh, in your county. There's one in every county, and uh, they can sure help you with that. Y'all take care now.